All right, welcome everyone to your deal reveal. Welcome back. Here we are, ready to rock and roll. Let's do a do a quick uh, time check. It is seven. Fantastic. And so, let's get started. Our deal reveals are your opportunity to submit deals to me, to us, to JK. And in a flash, in a quick handful of minutes, we're going to get a good sense of what's happening here so that you can take your next steps in your real estate dealings. So this week, we have a property that was submitted by uh, Vincent and David, a fresh new pair of investors who are interested in the Cleveland, Ohio market, and they are excited. They submitted this deals and they're excited to analyze them lightning fast so they can lightning fast put in an offer and get into that deal, which would be their first in the US, uh, well, in Ohio, Cleveland anyways. So welcome to the deal reveal. Let's get started. So your job here, is to cast your vote at any point, you can say if this is a deal or no deal for you. So let us get started. How do we start this? We use our a Google Navigator, our internet browser, put in the address followed by Trulia. And this, we are going to make sure we have the right address and we're gonna get a sense of what part of town this property is located in. So this is really interesting here because we have a five bedroom, five bathroom, and it looks a lot like a single family home, right? Um, so notice here, there's actually uh, probably a property in the back. So let's take a look at what's happening. So we're in St. Clair Superior, five bedrooms, five baths. Is this a residential deal or is this a commercial deal? Let's see if we can get more information. But the reason we went to Trulia first and foremost is to get a sense for the crime, right? St. Clair Superior is not the best part of Cleveland. That is for sure. Uh, it does seem to be in a pocket here, right? So maybe this is the um, diamond in the rough type of deal, but we do see it is a colorful area. And over the past, handful of, well, even over the past decade, um, this has not been the best of places to uh, invest capital due to how rough it is, the amount of crime that is here, the amount, of, the amount of foreclosed buildings, vacant properties, et cetera. So right out the gate, I'm seeing quite a bit of color. I have some local knowledge about it. Not liking that too, too much, but uh, it's in one of those, almost one of the only patches um, that are so close to the St. Clair artery here. Um, so right, uh, I'm not going to just disregard it immediately, but it is a potential flag right out the gate. Okay, so a true turnkey opportunity. I like that. Nothing to do but collect rent. Two houses on the same lot. Front house is three units, a triplex, and the back house is a standard two-unit duplex. All tenants long-term total rents 1828. So Yes, the next step would be to go on rental meter to check out what the rental market is, but they're giving us some data to go on right there. So $18.28 per month is supposedly the actual right now income. 12 months a year, that means $22,000 a year coming in. Seeing that we're in Cleveland proper, not a suburb, uh, property valuations are rather low, taxes are rather low, and so I'm comfortable with a 0.55 or even a 0.6 multiplier um, to go from gross income, that 22000 a year, down to its net income. So I'm looking at about 13000 a year in net income from this investment opportunity, so about 13000 If you want to be a little bit more conservative, we can do that too, and we can use the 0.55. I'm just gonna reverse engineer this. A little bit more conservative for Cleveland would be a 0 0.55 net ratio. Uh, basically evaluating the expenses to be 45% rather than 
percent on on this property here and so that would bring us down to uh where my calculator go twelve thousand in our year so i guess uh one piece of information that'd be important to know is how much are they asking for the property right well they're asking 87 so let's do a little bit of math here if you pay 12 if you receive 12,000 net on an $84,000 investment well that's a 14.4 cap rate and that was using the more conservative rent um, income multiplier so looks like we're really close to a 15 cap if not at a 15 cap with the actual rents that are here of um, tw uh, 1828. Now, I think it's still an important piece of data to go get the rental meters estimations of what rent should be. Now, according to Trulia, this is a three unit and a two unit and a five total. So it looks like it's five one bedrooms here. So we're gonna put in some one bedrooms and see what that gives. So notice I'm not doing a, a five bedroom here. I'm doing, there's five units of one bedrooms. And so that's why I put the one bedroom and these numbers, which are actually quite a bit all over the place, as you can see, um, I'm gonna take a look at them and I'm gonna multiply it by five. So um, notice my little cursor is behind the green here, right? It's right here. And um, this is, you can see that it's surrounded by a whole bunch of greens, right? This is the whole St. Clair pocket. Notice on the other side of north of it, you got some blues. Over here near Asia Town, you got some reds and so forth. Um, but right around that property are greens. And notice that there's a big difference between the average and the 25th percentile. So I'm definitely going to stick on the 25th percentile for my estimations. So that 530 or 525, 531 times the five units. Wow. Even at 525 a month, it should be bringing in 2655 a month for the entire five units. And we were running our numbers off 1828. All right. And that's rather. Uh, so it, it looks like there's potential to increase rents on top of that 14.4 cap rate. So that's interesting. So we got a good sense of what the cash flow is going to look like. We have a sense of what the area is about, thanks to our crime map on Trulia. Now we need to get a sense of how much is this property worth, right? There are five units on one lot. There's five units on one lot which puts it in the four and up units on one parcel. So this could be financed commercially. And so the, the value of this could be um, commercial. In fact, it will most likely be a commercial lending opportunity. And so that NOI that we, that we estimated before, which I can go back to, we said about 13,000, uh, is going to have a big impact on the value of of anyways to get the financing on this and so you know in in saint Clair superior you know it wouldn't be surprising for today to be a, like a 10 cap maybe even an 11 cap area higher the cap area the the less they're worth for the same income so let's just say it's a 10 cap so we can divide it by uh 10 percent divided by 0 0.1 so it would be worth about 130,000 on a commercial income basis. Whereas that same income, if the area is determined to be an 11 cap, would be worth 118,000. And if uh, you had a building like this in say uh, San Diego, right? If something's bringing in 13,000 commercially in San Diego, California, well, it would be worth something like 430,000. Okay, so big, big differences. That's the market cap rate that's going to determine that. So it's looking like on a commercial basis, it would be worth about 100000 if not more, which is, I'm going conservatively, that's looking good because they're asking 87000 So looks like 
because it's uh, we can deem it to be commercial, it looks like it's being sold under market value. It looks like there's some strong cash flow at a 14 cap with potential to increase rents and so forth. Now, according to what I see here, it's already tenanted, fully occupied, turnkey, so no rehab. Already jumping into it. The area is mediocre. And so, in under 10 minutes, we have a good idea what's happening here. Is this a deal or no deal for you? Is it worth picking up the phone or passing on it right then and there? Let's see, let me know. Trina's on board, Trina says that's a deal. Excellent, who else? Yes, Tara says it's a deal, fantastic. Lori, deal, fantastic, fantastic. So, Flora, deal, Renato, for the area, no, no deal, okay. So you see here, the higher the crime, the more some investors are gonna want a higher return for that additional risk. Gloria, deal, et cetera. Uh, Julio, deal, but careful with the area. I would agree, absolutely. Savvy, deal, fantastic. So uh, Trina, check with the property manager. All wonderful pieces of advice here. Uh, if you can't get a manager to manage, it don't matter what the numbers say. <laughs> if the rents aren't coming in, it's a zero. It's no good. So that's fantastic. Um, David and Vincent, I believe already put an offer on this. Uh, and so if this is something that's of interest to you, I recommend that you reach out. They're on our community now, David and Vincent. And yeah, who knows what can happen. So that was our deal reveal for today. We had done a couple one in Florida and I figured we'd come back to our roots before our Florida bus tour. If you're on this call, you probably already got an email um, or it's in your spam waiting for you to look at it for our upcoming tour, epic bus tour in Florida, which is uh, exactly two weeks away from right now. So you're invited to come. We're covering the, 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 the bus tour ticket for you. We're going to have two days and we're going to be touring properties here in Florida in, in, in central Florida near Disney. And we're going to show you that there could be some cash flow, some pretty interesting cash flow uh, here as well, not just in the Midwest with uh, traditional rentals. So if that's of interest to you, send us an email, info at nowfortomorrow.club, and we'll just uh, send you a quick form to make sure you're, uh, you're cool enough to, to hang with us. And uh, we're going to have a, a, a really fun time. We want to uh, show people that there's opportunities. And even though the property values are much higher in Florida on average, uh, there are some strategies to get in without touching your, your, your liquidity in the bank necessarily. So we want to teach you how to do that. And we're excited to do it. So all that and more is going to be taught in our upcoming Blueprint event in March. So if you haven't already attended our full weekend event, it's, we're going to have another one in March and it's going to be epic. We're even going to bring in some special guest speakers to teach us how to use our RRSPs to fund these, these to finance your down payments or the entire real estate transaction in the US without breaking them. So we're really getting excited. We are going to be closing on our first property in Florida with this strategy, and we'd like to feature it on the bus tour. And of course, we'll feature it again at the Blueprint, which won't be an in-person uh, event, but it will be a live event that we will host virtually for you. So hopefully you can make that. So if you're interested in the blueprint, n4t.club slash blueprint. And as I said, if you're interested in the bus tour, just send us an email to info at nowfortomorrow.club or go to our website and send us, just get a hold of us somehow. Right now we're finishing up and we're qualifying the, the final people to come filling up those last seats on the bus. And this is an event that we're actually co-hosting with three other groups uh, to really make uh, the event you know, magical for everyone, uh, pun intended, thanks to our rat here in Florida, right? Uh, by the name of Mickey. And so thank you everyone. Enjoy this day. Hopefully you enjoyed another deal reveal. Hopefully I can showcase yours next week, next Thursday night. And until then, I'm going to invite you to do now for tomorrow the lifestyle you deserve.
Have a great night, everyone.